It's the RSC handicap now at Goodwood, so 12 furlongs, four horses rated up to 100. Cincinnati Desperation, Vinnie Gerard, Dolores Abernathy, Dan Hughes, Chlorine, Darren Thompson, Lady Charmel, Jim Murray, Tomodachi, Magique, Steve Ran, run out of names, haven't we all? Craig Beckwith, Lady Oscar, and still game for Alex Cherry, Galash for D French, Zeffirelli Rose, Padre Hogan, Dilshan Doubt, Graham Clutterbuck, Petronel for Satyam, your favourite, Alter and Anther House, Thomas Roger, Guy Shake, Ryan Costello, Bells Vereen, Thomas Rogers, and last but not least, his first vacation for Martin Leadham. And they are off and running here at Goodwood for the RAC Handicap 16 under post. A lot of 12 furlong races this week, so a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of horses that have been trying their chance in the uh, listed race on day one at Goodwood or a couple of the uh, group races that we've had over this distance already this week. Uh, so a really nice handicap prize on offer here. Uh, this is Petronelli. Petronel, sorry for Satyam, is going to try and follow up on what was a really good win in the last race for one of his two-year-olds. Um, it's gone out into an early lead. It's going to try and do things from the front, much like his previous winner as well. So Galash in second place, a good six lengths plus behind that early leader already. Laid out on the wide outside of that one. Chlorine racing over towards the rail on the inside of Dilshan Doubt. Tomodachi Magique. Uh, coming through in those frankel type colours down the centre of the track that one definitely not quite at frankel level it's fair to say towards the rear of the field at the moment Martin Leadham's first vacation is hard at work already and not enjoying things by the looks of things today we've also got Bells Vereen Alteran Fella House as well towards the rear of the field as is Geisha K those ones are going to start trying to get a little bit closer as we come into the final six furlongs Petronel still in the lead Lady Oscar and still game being pushed out very wide there so that track position that they had uh, uh, taken up really to their disadvantage as they started swinging right handed there and it allowed a lot of horses to pass them Lady Charmel, Dolores Abernathy making some good progress Tomodachi Magique still travelling really well just a few lengths off the pace as well Dolores Abernathy making some really smooth progress up on the outside now the grey so it's still Petronel that has the lead three and a half furlongs to go Tomodachi Magique, Lady Charmel, Dolores Abernathy, they're queuing in behind. Chlorine's there as well, queuing in behind this long-time leader and the favourite, ready to lay down a challenge to it. Uh, Abel and Thela Howes and Bells Vereen, two of the back markers, have suddenly come out of nowhere and are now two of the main challengers. Dolores Abernathy there as well, Chlorine, Tomodachi Magique struggling to pick up and stay on and it's still Petronel that has the lead for Satyam, the favourite, trying to repel all challenges. Bells Vereen and Alter and Thela Howes are the two main dangers now as we come towards the final half of Furlong, but Petronel still gamely holding them all off and it's now finding a second wind and kicking back on and it's a quick double here at Goodwood for Satyam follows up the win in the nursery with a really good win in the RAC handicap start to finish win for Petronel and just when it looked like the challenges were going to come and swore the long time they were going to kick on again that's the odds for favourite but it's a really good win for Petronel there and another one to go for Satyam plotting his horses really nicely and uh, the low weights have, have made the most uh, of, of that weight advantage here in this handicap because the top three spaces uh, filled by some of the the lower rated horses Petronel wins it it's a 2-3 for Thomas Rogers horses they looked a real threat there but just faded in the final half of furlong Galash fourth for D French and Dilshan Dow completes your top five for Graham Clutterbuck